But the real question you are probably asking yourself at this point is, can I actually shoot this film on an iPhone? Yeah, that was the question that drove me, really. It was really just completely the purest form of passion project. And the challenges that you're talking about, like the can I do it challenge, was so much of the fun of it. What I wanted to do was approach this cell phone film like an actual movie. How do I replicate those on a phone in my apartment with no crew, no actors, no... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Some of the fun stuff was like, I'm like, man, this shot would be really great with a camera movement. And it's like, there's no one to move the camera. So how do I do it? And it was like, okay, I got to frame the shot really, really wide so that I could punch in digitally on my editing app and make sure I can kind of digitally create that movement. Like I have enough space. So like the shot list became really important. Like I actually had to know exactly how I wanted to cut the thing together and to know where I wanted movement without having anyone being able to move the camera. Like those, those things, you know, ended up making the whole thing feel like a fun game. I didn't have professional lights. What I found was like a cell phone doesn't handle low light really well. iPhone 8 was what I shot on. And so a lot of the shots that I had just ended up being very grainy and ended up being part of the look of the film. But there were certain scenes where I knew that certain details had to be picked up, but they had to look like they were in the dark. So how do I light something like that? What I came up with was, for example, I used my laptop screen, crank the brightness up on my laptop, and then put it where I needed mm. to, it to be, and voila, I have like the equivalent of a small light source with a blue gel on it. It was a lot of that kind of stuff to make this film happen, and you know, it was very rewarding. It was more guerrilla than I've ever had to shoot a film in the last 20 years of my life. Mm. 